Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Pia and I am, as always, so very happy that you're joining me here today for a little chat about yarn and knitting. I have not had a ton of knitting time since the last time we spoke, but I will say that what knitting time I have had has been spent wisely, if I do say so myself. I will show you everything and you can find out if you agree with me. But first, I want to show you what I am wearing today, because this is one of my loveliest summer knits. Hang on a second, I'm just going to stand up so I can show it to you properly. This is my drop top, one of my own designs that I knit up in a super luxurious yarn. It's a cashmere silk blend from Anita's World in her colorway, My Way, which is probably, to me, the perfect neutral because it will read sand, beige, light gray, or even almost off-white, depending on the light. From the front, this is just a pretty basic Raglan t-shirt with some raw rolled over hems uh, all around it. But from the back, we have the drop that gave name to this design. And I really hope that you're able to hear me, even though I am turning my back. This drop actually caused me a lot of pain when designing the top. I knew that I wanted the drop, but I also knew that I wanted it to be not too deep. I wanted to be able to wear a bra under the t-shirt without the straps showing. So I had to experiment a lot and I was so happy when my testers reported back that it was the correct size in all of the different sizes for this top. So this is something that I wear a lot down here. Of course the cashmere makes it a little bit warm, but there's the silk content. Plus we're up in the mountains, so mornings and evenings are nice and cool, even though the middle of the day gets quite hot. First of all, I of course finished my Helix Halter, a pattern by Jessie Made Designs. And I'm a little embarrassed to be showing it to you because I had to pull this one out of the laundry to show it to you. I have been wearing this a lot down here. It is so hot. So this one with my swimsuit under it and a pair of jean shorts and I'm good to go every day but um, yeah yesterday I threw it in the laundry basket not thinking about the fact that I wanted to record today so here it is my slightly dirty helix holder by Jessie Made Design I knit this, and if you have been watching some of my vlogcation episodes you will know all about this, but I knit this using one of the recommended yarns from the pattern. It is a 100% mercerized cotton, uh, a yarn called N by Circulo Yarns. It's a Brazilian yarn and it was a pleasure to work with. It's a fingering weight and it is tightly spun so it's super easy to work with it doesn't split at all of course it is 100% cotton so it can be hard on your hands or your arms but I actually found out that by going down a needle size and then willfully uh, loosening up my gauge helped a lot um, 
of course when you do that when you play with your natural way of knitting style of knitting you have to pay really good attention and I will also say it needs to be in a project that you're gonna finish within like a relatively short span of time just so that you uh, because you're not gonna build true muscle memory so you will have to rely on your brain's memory of how did it feel last time I worked on this but I was able to do that and I was able to knit this without any strain on my elbow at all I um, <laughs> I sort of followed the pattern I have mixed two sizes because the the true halter style where it really goes in up here doesn't look really good on me mm, I don't know if it's my broad shoulders or if it's just my personal preferences I don't care for the true halter style so I cast on for a, a size larger than I was supposed to do according to the very meticulous instructions in the pattern and then I just uh, cast on fewer stitches under the arms where you join the front and the back to make a top that fits me perfectly. The lace here is so simple to knit. It is easily memorizable. After just a few repeats, you, you will be able to knit it without the pattern. Um, it's, yeah, pleasurable knit. A knit where you have to pay attention. You have to look at what your hands are doing. It's not mindless knitting around and around. I apologize for the ambient noise. I am recording outside, as you can probably see. It's such a hot day. Uh, I do hope that my microphone will filter out some of the noise, uh, but I hope that you will bear with me if you hear the occasional dog or car or people chattering. But yeah, back to this one. Um, such an enjoyable knit. I would definitely knit another one. I only used one ball of the, uh, the N cotton yarn. And it was, I think I paid maybe $12 um, per ball on Amazon. So this is definitely a budget-friendly make. And for me, it has just been the perfect summer top to just pop on almost every morning. I do have yarn to, well, I have yarn to make another one in black, but I also have some terracotta colored yarn to make another one. I do not know if that is going to happen because, as I said, you have to pay attention, especially during uh, the, the increases here for the front and the back. You actually have to refer to your pattern all of the time, plus you have to pay attention when you're knitting the lace. Even though it's a very simple, very beginner-friendly lace, you still have to pay attention. And I don't know that that is the kind of knit that I am looking for right now. But yeah, I'm sure there will be more Helix holders in my life because this is a pleasure to knit and a pleasure to wear. Okay, if you follow me on Instagram, you all know that I have half a finished object and a surprising one at that. I knit a sock! Yay me! I actually knit a sock. We were going with the family to Gardaland, which is like a theme park here in Italy. And I knew that I would be needing something small, portable, relatively mindless to just knit on for those days that we were there. So I cast on a 
sock and I finished the first sock. When my sock projects go to the graveyard of forgotten socks, it is during the first sock. I'm, I might knit the leg or even start the heel and then give up on it. If I finish a full sock, I'm going to finish the pair. Uh, and for sure, I'm going to do that with these. I have already cast on the second sock. But yeah, these are these are quick and easy socks. They're shorties. I have added some short rows to them so that they fit uh, nicely when you're wearing a sneaker. I really like that the little pico edge here just... Uh, just sticks out of the sneaker. This is actually a Pico cast on which takes forever and a day to to work but is so worth it. I just made a short row heel. I did some shaping with the short rows and, and with the stitch count changing and then I uh, put in a little lace pattern on the foot just for fun. I was getting a little bored with just knitting around. So let me see. It's easier to show you like this. Just a tiny little uh, lace pattern on the front of the foot. I will be the only one who can see this but I will know that it is there and it makes me so happy. So yeah, as I said, I already cast on the second sock and with these socks definitely the cast on is the biggest part of the work because of the Pico cast on. So I did the cast on, the ribbing and I have done the leg which is maybe not a lot considering this is a shorty sock but I am confident that I am gonna finish the pair. The yarn is some undyed alpaca sock yarn, again from Anita's World. I love her alpaca sock yarn because it is, it is so fluffy. There is just a lovely little halo to this and I'm totally here for it. Yeah. Um, these started out as just something that was practical for me to bring along but actually now it has turned into a product knit. I want the socks. I think they're going to be so, so cute. And I know I say this every time I am about to finish a pair of socks. There will be more socks in my life. It's such a lovely project. Small, simple, portable. I mean, especially during the summer. Socks. I'm here for them. It has been so hot here in Italy, so I have not been working a lot on poor Peter's Father's Day sweater. I am ready to uh, start the ribbing, so I did work on it a little bit, but definitely not a lot. It's just too warm to be sitting with a beast like this. I want small projects, so as long as this heat wave continues, I will be knitting on socks and other small uh, projects as I will be showing you now. Because I have finished a string of cozies. These are cozies for mini skeins. I am going to make myself a yarn advent calendar. I will be uh, vlogging as I do it in case you want to make your own yarny advent. Uh, or maybe you want to make one for a friend. You can, you, know, you can uh, exchange advent calendars. Uh, but yeah, I decided that 
since what I am basically giving myself are my own scraps, I wanted to add in some extra little somethings. Uh, so I am knitting some cozies uh, for mini skeins and I'm also going to be making some stitch markers uh, with all kinds of Christmassy things on them. When I make my string of cozies for 20 gram mini skeins or cakes, I use DK weight yarn. I use a needle size 3.25. I cast on 40 stitches, then I knit three uh, rounds of ribbing, and then 15 centimeters six inches of stockinette, maybe a little more, uh, six to seven inches of, of stockinette stitch, and then another three inches of ribbing and a, uh, a stretchy bind off. Then I fold this, this long tube in half. Uh, I mark where the halfway point is and then I do as I would if I was uh, putting in an afterthought heel. I pick up all the stitches uh, on a circular needle, all the stitches around on one round and then again on the round above. I cut uh, and I separate the two pieces and all I do from there is thread the yarn um, through the live stitches. Uh, I don't really tighten it, just ever so slightly. Um, and then I weave in the ends and I have two little cozies. I am working on a third cozy because I am working on a a pattern for Advent mini skeins. This pattern will be using 24 mini skeins and it will be using the same amount of a neutral background color. I have chosen this light gray drops of Paca, but it could be anything fingering that is it's neutral enough that the colors in your advent will stand out. Because these are balls that are wound um, from, from the mill, they are longer, skinnier than uh, a cake that you make yourself. So I am knitting a cozy to go with this one. I cast on 42 stitches and I am, I think I am about ready to do the ribbing now, but I am simply measuring my ball of yarn as I go. This one I am not making into a string of cozies because I'm only going to need one. So um, from the beginning I cinched in um, my cast on edge like so and I am just knitting away on this. So yeah, I could do with some more 20 gram cozies for my advent calendar and cozies are as good a summer project as the socks are. Again, small, relatively mindless, easily portable, such a joy to be working on. The only other thing that I want to show you is <laughs> as exciting as a shorty sock and some yarn cozies because that's a dishcloth. I should be making more interesting things but that's just not what this summer is like for me. We are having guests almost all of the time. So I need small, portable and simple projects that I can just uh, bring around with me. So I am making half and half uh, dishcloths. 
I think I cast on around 40 stitches using some drops uh, bell, some leftovers that I had. Uh, I'm probably going to make this half striped. Typically what I will do is I will, if, if I want one of the halves to be striped, I will work that half first. So I will start with the striped section because then I can knit over all of my German short rows with one collar when I am attaching the second collar and not get like a, um, a diagonal line um, in, in a different collar. So yeah, I am going to stripe it with some gray drop spell and then I will probably make the other half um, completely black. We shall see. But yeah, again, nice, easy, simple and also useful. I need dishcloths. I have not been knitting dishcloths for real for quite some years. So the ones that I have are not looking too good. But yeah, that was basically it for the creative content. This is going to be a short episode. Uh, as I said, I have not had a lot of knitting time. I have been enjoying vacation time with my family. If I do look a little tired today, it's because I am a little tired. We were up at 3 a.m. to send off the family from Texas, my oldest son, his wife, and two kids. And I don't know. I mean, my brain understands this. My brain understands that they're in Texas and we're here and it is good. It is as it should be. My brain completely understands that they are now on their way home. But to quote a cheesy pop song, don't tell my heart. I really hate goodbyes. I am so bad at goodbyes. I guess everyone is kind of bad at goodbyes. I have yet to meet someone who says, oh, I love goodbyes. Let me say goodbye every day. But, ah, yeah. I couldn't go back to sleep after sending them off. So, even though it is only 10 o'clock, I have a lot of day behind me already. So there you go. There's something to that as well. We have a full week alone now. Just me and Peter and of course little Miss. We are gonna relax. We are probably gonna uh, sail a lot. We have a, a small motorboat on Lake Como. We're probably gonna use that a lot because it's so hot here and if you go out on the lake it's cooler plus you can technically dip yourself into the water that will not happen for me but peter can we have a handful of favorite restaurants that we need to go to and next week our youngest son uh, is gonna come with his oldest son and his daughter so that's gonna be good times we're gonna have so much fun together but first one week of calm relaxation and probably also a good deal of knitting maybe i am gonna let you go for now i know this has been a very short episode but as i said in the beginning i have not had a ton of knitting time if you have any suggestions for small, simple, portable projects for me, please leave them in the comment section below. I could use some inspiration so my summer doesn't become all dishcloths and yarn cozies. I do hope that you enjoyed this episode, short as it was. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up, maybe even subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. That really helps me grow this community of knitters. 
enjoy your summer or your winter depending on where you are in the world until we talk again stay happy stay safe and keep knitting <laughs>